Hi there! <coughs> Hi there! It's Gabby here with Radiant Art Inspirations. In today's class, we're gonna do a design that was requested, and that is Pikachu. Pikachu is obviously one of the most iconic Pokemon out there. You see it and you're like, I know what that is. But out of all the Pokemon out there, my favorite of all time is Snorlax. He's cuddly, he's huge, and he just sleeps all day. Like, that's adorable, right? I, he's, he's just really cute. But we're gonna be painting Pikachu, which is also adorable. In this design, it is, um, only on the forehead and around the eyes, so it is very mask friendly, and it's pretty easy once you know the basic steps, and to also have a steady hand for the line work. A little side note is um, we're trying out a new tool for our face painting, and that's like a little sponge on a stick. So it's a nice alternative to finger dappers. You can get this one at the dollar store or at Walmart or Target. There's a bunch in a bag with all different sizes. We'll be testing it out and see how it works to create a perfect circle Pokeballs. Obviously, we want to make this as easy and as fast as possible, so we're using a cheat. Cheater, ch cheater. But it's not really cheating when you're making kids happy, right? Oh yeah. We are gonna go from this to this. Let's get started. These are the supplies we are going to be using for this Pikachu. So first with a sponge load with neon yellow or regular yellow to sponge the eyelids. Honestly, this is a really cute look, so I don't know why I haven't done it. Now we're using this finger dabber loaded in yellow to create the perfect circle right in the middle of the forehead. This step is optional, but again, we're kind of just testing to see how this tool works. I wanted to do a really cool transition, but it didn't really turn out how I wanted. Now we're using a smaller finger dabber with loaded in white to create the Pokeball base, okay? And then now with a teardrop brush by Silly Farm, adding the cheeks, which is like another like half semicircle, and then starting out outlining the ears. Now with this yellow that we're using, it needed so many layers and it just wasn't blending properly that we had to use a sponge just to kind of even it out. Uh, we were using Fusion and I think uh, Aqua Color and I was, I was sad. Yellow is a struggle. Now with a darker shade of yellow, we did a little bit of sponging just to give it a little bit more depth. Then with a number one brush, loaded in black to start adding the details of the face. So you have the tiny nose and the bottom of the mouth. Pretty easy so far. Then with a number four brush loaded in black just to do a dab for the eyes. You don't have to draw it, you just have to bring your brush down and press. Now we're doing a really quick outlining of the Pikachu face um, with this kind of anime look. It doesn't have to be perfect outlining, the lines do not have to touch. It can be really rough and it'll still look really cute. Now we're doing the tips of the ears, which is just a very small triangular look, nothing too heavy. And then with a darker shade of orange, just giving it some depth, right? And then also adding some red cheeks because obviously Pikachu has red cheeks. And with that same brush, doing the top of the Pokeball. So your circle's already made. All you have to do is just draw that little semicircle and uh, it does all the hard work for you, really easy. Now adding some red glare to the Pokeball and to the cheeks of the Pikachu. That step is obviously optional. Uh, you know, I, I think it's cute. Then back to your number one or number two brush, load it in black to start outlining your Pokeballs. Take your time, outlining can be a little bit hard if you don't know what you're doing. So just, just take a deep breath and take your time. Now we're using a Graffiti Eye stencil. This one is called Action Booster and we're using Bam and Pow on each side of his face. This step is also optional. You can obviously draw them by hand if you like, but I'm lazy and I have a lot of stencils. So there you go. That's really cute. You got the base, you've got almost everything down. Now back to your number one brush loaded in white. Start adding these really cool lightning strikes. Cool, cool lightning strikes. To me they also kind of look like branches so um, just make sure not to add too much because then you don't want to give that nature look. You want it to be lightning. So we got that on both sides and then you can also do another set in yellow. Uh, a secret to make anything look neon is you do white and then you add on top whatever color you want. We didn't do that, 
but that's just a little secret. Now we're using a gradient stencil just to add some texture to your design. Uh, I love texture stencils just because they add so much to a lot of boy and adult designs. You're pretty much done. That was really easy, right? I mean, obviously this was sped up a little bit, so I guess it's cheating. But overall, it's a very simple design and um, pretty, pretty good. Now, just a really quick side note on these spongy sticks. Um, they were just okay. They soak up a lot of paint. They require a lot of layers and it creates the paint to crack. So I kind of wouldn't recommend them. I didn't really like them. Now let's do this exact same design on the practice board. like this kind of content, then please support our work by liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell so that you never miss any of these easy, fun, and fast face paint tutorials that we post for you every single week. We also have step-by-steps of this design on our Instagram at Radiant Art Inspirations because why not? You know what? Why not? 
Lastly, if you would like to see anything specific that you would like to learn how to paint, please let us know in the comments below. I will see all of you guys next week. Bye-bye!